Thank you. Alexander, what a fantastic result. How are you feeling? Yeah, over the over the moon. Um, yeah, so happy to have won my first Grand Slam match, main draw match, and uh, to do it on that court, especially. I think you know everyone is out. I think it was one of the loudest atmospheres I've ever I've ever seen, to be honest. And and it was all all for me, and and you know all for the Aussies. And I was uh, yeah, I couldn't have done it without them. And it's a dream. It really is. Uh, first question from the floor, please. Yeah, I had, I had my close family and a few friends. Um, couldn't hear them at all. Um, couldn't hear anything. So I'm sure they'll probably be telling me, you know, I told you this at, at the third set. I'm just like, couldn't hear anything. Um, but yeah, I have my brother flew down this morning from Sydney and uh, had a few mates that flew down as well. And there were so many people in the crowd. So yeah, it's awesome. And that's the career highlight for you, the, the biggest win? For sure. Yeah, for sure. Um, I think it's more the stage and, of course, you know, it's a very high-ranked opponent, but, um, you know, as you grow up as, as a kid, watching that court, watching watching the pros take on that, and I never thought it'd become a reality, and, and it really is. Alex, did you feel really close coming into this summer to these types of breakthroughs? Obviously, a quarter-final for the first time at ATP level last week, and now it's your first Grand Slam win. Were you, did you feel you were positioned for this? At the end of uh, last year, I was doing well on the Challenger Tour, just kind of racking up matches and, and playing well. And I thought I was in a really good headspace. And um, I kind of just continued that uh, for the beginning of the year. Had a really close one uh, in the first match against Steve Johnson while I was 6-4 in the third, but kind of wasn't disappointed. Um, a very close match. And, yeah, I've kind of continued it on. And I've always thought that the level wasn't as big of a difference, but these guys are more consistently playing at a level. And I think I'm, I'm, I'm hitting that consistency a little, a little bit more as well. I did. I actually thought of that match. I think it was in the middle of the third or something like that, and I was like, "It, it being in those positions for sure helps." So, um, you know, I was up five two, actually double break in that in that third set over there, and um, you know, I was trying to use the crowd as much as possible, but also trying to remain calm and and, and play tennis and not get all right up in the emotion. But uh, I, I think I, I did a good job with that today. With a pretty large crowd today all behind you, uh, can you speak to how maybe your college experience might have readied you for something like this? I know that that's a similarly uh, rowdy environment at times. Yeah, it is. And I think college as well, it's like, so it's indoor a lot of the times. So I was, I was quite used to it and definitely loved it. I don't think anyone doesn't love it when you got that many people cheering for you. Um, and definitely, it wasn't something that I was kind of not exposed to, but it's obviously different. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, you just, you just want more of these matches now, basically. Yeah. Alex, you seem to play your best tennis against these high ranked opponents. We've seen obviously last year, you pushed Hatchinov to four, could have won that match. And this year you had an amazing start against high ranked opponents. What is it about playing those high ranked guys? You know, you look right there and you look like you're comfortable at the level. What is it about playing them that you love? Yeah, I think it just kind of depends on depends on the matchup and and depends on the style. I feel like I, I do I do kind of match up well with with big hitters um, because I have similar style where I, I will uh, you know serve. I rely a lot on my serve. So when there's someone else that does that, I kind of know how to play them because I know how to play me in a way. So uh, I kind of draw on that, and I think it just it's every match is different, but. Um, today was also completely different with the conditions as well different court slower court than the out outdoor courts i think it took me maybe five or six games in the first set to really get adjusted to those conditions um but yeah i feel i feel very comfortable with these guys for sure alex have you had a i know you're reveling in this one first but have you had a sneaky look ahead to who you've got next and it, and it looks like a, a really good opportunity for both of you yeah i i was in the ice bath just then and um, I asked my fitness coach what, what I, uh, who I'm playing now, and uh, so yeah, I do know it's Radu Albot, um, who came through qualies um, and seems to be playing well. I know one of my fellow Aussies, Chris O'Connell, played him last year in the second round as well and took him out. So knowing that, I'm not taking him lightly at all. 
Um, don't want to happen again. So going to do my best and going to talk to Chris and hopefully he gets through and I'll talk to him and see, uh, see if he thought of anything against him as well. Okay, two more questions in the room. Um, with, with your more recent success against these uh, bigger players, as Jeff was alluding to, where do you feel like your improvements come from? More on the mental side uh, than anything. I just don't, I, I feel like my lapses of concentration is a lot less. I feel like I'm giving opponents not a lot to work with. And when I do, I, I have been able to kind of switch back on. Um, so if the opponent is going to beat me, it's, it's not going to be easy. Um, you know, and I have lost close matches, but it's one of those where they will, they will have to do that consistently. And, you know, if I can work on a few things and continue that mental aspect, I think I'm just going to be tough to beat. Um, and if they do, it's too good, you know, and, and just kind of move on from that. Congratulations on the win. Thank um, you. Just a little bit off topic, but do you think Djokovic should have played um, the Australian Open and been deported, or what was your opinion on that? Probably no comment on that one. Last question, please. Alex, what did you focus on in, in the off-season? Because obviously after watching a lot of you last year, it looks like your backhand has improved significantly. Is that something that you worked on in the off-season? You've always had a mass of forehands. Um, what, 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 was, what parts of your game did you work on in the off-season? A, a, a bit of everything. Um, I did backhand. I think I'm just, you know, still got a lot to improve, obviously, but I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out how to... Um, how to use it um, in a way that suits my game. Not necessarily, you know, I can't maybe do certain things that other players can do with it, but how I, I'm trying to figure out how I can use it for me, basically. And um, I think I'm, I'm figuring it out slowly. There's still a lot to improve, but it is, it is getting better for sure. Thank you. We will now move to the online questions. Uh, first up, we have Howard from the Associated Press. Please go ahead. Hi, uh, congrats on this victory. Could, could I ask you to expand a little bit more on why for you it is a big deal that this comes here in Australia and maybe uh, for those from elsewhere in the world, wh what sort of significance is there for Australians to see Australian success at this tournament and, you know, uh, and what it might mean to have somebody again from the country win the championship here yeah i mean like i said i think you know i, I grew up coming to the australian open you know most years and um watching the aussies play and uh you know as a kid you you dream of it you know and it, it seems so far away it seems like this 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 is impossible almost so i think for other people to see that you know it is it is possible for an Aussie to do that in their home country, no matter what path they take to get there, um, should hopefully give you know a lot of people encouragement that um, you know yeah you can do you can do anything. But um, I think yeah playing on playing on court three and, and that and that stage is is yeah something I'll I'll always cherish. Thank you. Do we have any further questions online? Could I? Howard, go again. Sorry. No, I just want to, you mentioned the idea of finding out who your next opponent is. Um, I think you said while you were in an ice bath. I'm just wondering, did, is that, had you known what the possibilities were or are you one of these players who refuses to look even to the next round at all and you didn't even want to know who could be your opponent, or you knew who it might be, and then he just told you what the result had been. Yeah, it was it was more that I think I try to be as 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 uh, not as superstitious as possible, just because I think there's so many unknown factors that happen day to day with playing tennis and traveling. So yeah, I look at the opponent, but I think uh, you know I knew who I was playing today, so I didn't look too far in advance, um, but I knew kind of who I could have played as well. Um, but I didn't know it was, I actually didn't know Albert was even drawn as a qualifier there. So, um, I didn't look that far to be honest. Thank you. Congrats. Thank, Thank you. you. Any further questions online, please raise your hand. Nope. All done. Thank you very much. Thank that you concludes guys. our press conference today.